Marcus just talking about the, kind of the excitement of being out there. You got high expectations on you guys. How, how do you deal with those? Uh, we deal with them by just coming out and executing what we need to do. Uh, we got a plan and we got a goal, and we just decided to get everything rolling. Marcus, can you talk about the summer voluntary workouts, how that went for you guys? It went well. Uh, the quarterbacks came out every day, and the receivers did as well. And um, all the receivers out there, if you go down there, you'll see a receiver down there getting better, catching balls and everything. And so as other positions as well. And receivers specifically, was there anyone that stood out to you? Well, everybody been working hard. Um, today, uh, I'll probably say everybody uh, stuck out to me just by flying around and doing what the coaches asked. You think those summer workouts, did you see it pay off today? Oh, definitely, because we uh, work out with an up-tempo style, and today, we that's all we got today, and we just hustled on and out the field. I know, I know in the spring you mentioned how much you tried to mentor Jason since he's kind of going through the same transition that you did moving to receive from quarterback. How much have you seen improvement from him from then to now? I've seen a lot of improvement. Um, just in the receiver room, we all learn from each other. So now I feel like I can learn some things from him. Everybody improving, doing what uh, we can, you know, just to uh, make the team better. Mark, you've been working and lining up mostly been at slide, split end, where have you come to that? I've been um, outside splitting, just working, uh, just trying to get better. Marcus, talk about Jeremy and the connection you got with him. Is, is there something special there, do you think? Oh, yeah, I definitely think so. Uh, that guy is really intelligent. I believe he can make all the throws on the field. And, you know, I think he's ready. He's signing weight, and he's uh, ready to just uh, take his opportunity to the next level. How much do you guys kind of embrace the, the people talking about you guys winning the SEC or the playoffs? Well, personally, I don't, I don't really look into that. But... I know that we have a chance. Coach Malzahn always talk about a chance to win it, so uh, that's what we're going to focus on, you know, just getting better each and every day to uh, try to reach that goal. Mark's on a personal level. What have you been working on these last three or four months trying to get better? I feel like I'm a really polished receiver. I've been working on a punt return, you know, just perfecting my craft back there, you know, being comfortable, you know, just uh, doing my the little things to make sure I'm doing everything right. That's something you'd really like to do? Yes, sir. Marcus, how did you handle last year? Because obviously your stats were down, but you also had fewer opportunities, so it wasn't that like you were dropping balls or something. You just didn't have very many chances. How did you handle that? For me, I'm a team guy, and I feel like whenever it comes my way, I know I can make a play, and that's what I'm planning on doing this year, making a lot of plays to help the team out. Was it hard, though, just not being as involved? <coughs> uh, it was hard, but at a point in time, we was winning a lot of games, and we was on the run, so I was just doing what would help the team out. Thinking back to when you were a freshman, do you do you recall what it's like to be a freshman and, and maybe feeling lost or anything? Do you, do you relate to the young guys out there now? Oh yeah, that's why I kind of took uh, Ryan Davis and Darius Slayton under my wings because I know I know a million things going through their head, you know. But I just tell them relax, you know, and uh, just embrace it because everything will come together. How different is it being an older guy now, being a veteran guy? I mean, how different do you feel this camp already? To be honest, it's kind of weird, but because time flies, but I'm, I'm really, really comfortable. I know what I can do, and I'm just ready to show it. You, you've been a guy that has really taken on a leadership role, even back then as a freshman. Some of the older guys talked about it. How comfortable, comfortable role is that for you to be one of those guys that people come to? Uh, it's very comfortable because I was a high school quarterback, so it was like more of a natural thing. You know, trying to lead guys, and you know, because I feel like if everybody on the same page and everybody as a team, good things can happen. Marcus, at SEC media days, we asked Jonathan Jones which receiver was most likely to join Duke and Ricardo with kind of that big three in that rotation. And he mentioned you. What did you show in the practice, you think, that, that uh, made him say that? Well, I've been a very consistent guy since I've been here, I believe. And I know uh, I try to challenge myself with the better guys on defense as well. So I just love to compete and I love to make plays. And I, I'm pretty sure that's what he's seen. What do you see out of Jason Smith as we move into receiver, and what do you think he's primed for here this, this season? That guy's a very elusive guy. I see big things from him, you know. Everybody in our room can make plays, and I'm just excited to see uh, what happens this year. We'll do one more. With the heat, is it harder physically or is it harder mentally to push through? That's a good question. 
But I believe it's harder uh, physically just because, you know, just running. The receivers run a lot. We wear down our body a lot just running, hustling back, and coach emphasized hustling on the field, hustling off. So I believe it's more of a physical thing, but it's something that we all can get through.